Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart and welcome to Shoutout Sunday. In this week's episode we will be looking at the Luberforce Network. Now Luberforce Network is a channel that I've known for a long time, over a year I think it is. He has a similar subscriber base to what I have and it's been quite funny because every few months we talk to each other and basically there's like 10 or 20 subscribers between us. Sometimes I'm ahead of him, sometimes he's ahead of me. It's almost like a like a kind of mini challenge, but um, yeah, he's a very good YouTuber. He's from England, he's from, I think it's Yorkshire, I believe. Yorkshire, and he has lots and lots of different content on his channel. If we have a look right now, he has Armour 3 multiplayer, he has Victoria 2, Hearts of Iron 3, he has uh, the Third Age Total War mod, Isengard, for Medieval 2 Total War. Finish Let's Play, he's got a playlist, lots and lots of videos in his playlist. You have 30 videos here in a Darth mod, Vanilla, Empire Total War Sweden campaign. Hearts of Iron 3 for Italy, he has Democracy 3, he has a Napoleonic Total War 3.7 mod for Spain. Hearts of Iron 3, I'm just going to continue going through his playlist at the moment. Europa Universal, oh sorry, can't get my words out. <laughs> Europa Universalis 4 England, he has World War 1. 100th anniversary Hearts of Iron 3 World War 1 mod with France. He has lots and lots of different mods. He also got other games he plays. He does focus quite a lot on strategy games, but he does have uh, many other games that he plays. He has uh, Total War, oh, Total War, sorry, uh, TLN plays uh, Next Car Game, plays War Thunder, Gary's Mod, Minecraft, World of Tanks, uh, Armor 3 again, War Thunder, Heroes and Generals, Turbo Dismount. Uh, Mountain Blade, Mountain Blade's a fantastic game by the way guys, definitely check Mountain Blade out. Um, and you know, it's loads of different playlists, Left 4 Dead 2, you've got some vlogs on here as well, some great popular uploads, over a thousand views for Battlefield Hardline versus Battlefield 4 versus Battlefield 3, so he does get quite a lot of uh, views on some of his videos. And overall just a generally nice YouTuber, you know, it, on YouTube, the internet, it can be quite a, quite a murky uh, website I suppose, but there are some generally nice people on here. And the Luberforce Network is definitely one of those generally nice people. Um, you can upload schedule as well, so you've got an idea of what you can expect from him. So as you can see, he has uh, Hearts of Iron 3 on Monday, he has Third Age Tuesday, Hearts of Iron 3 Wednesday, Third Age again on Thursday, and Hearts of Iron 3. So it kind of um, alternates between the days. And he doesn't have anything on Saturday on Sunday, but if you've got a big schedule like that, I'm sure you can have one or two days off. <laughs> He also has goals, so for 2014 he wants to get 750 subscribers, which I think he probably will do. He's on uh, 641 at the time of recording this video. Uh, 2,500 by 2015 and 5,000 by 2016. So nice to have goals on your channel, something I don't really have to be honest. Um, if you want to contact him as well, he has lots and lots of different links. He has Tumblr, Twitter, Reddit, he's got a game shop, he got, uh, he's partnered with Freedom like I am got Twitch, you got Steam, Instagram, lots and lots of different things that you can check him out on as well. And he also has a nice little banner as well, illustrating all the different things that you can connect with him on, like Steam and uh, Tumblr and Twitter, etc. But anyway, this concludes this week's episode of Shoutout Sunday for the Luberforce Network. I've been Dragonheart. A link to his channel will be in the description. Until next time, goodbye.